I stumbled upon this new interesting CNCF project, which is called as Project Copa Setic or Project Copa or Copa in short. This project is interesting because it enables you to patch security vulnerabilities in existing containers, which is quite useful, but comes with few caveats. Now, if you have been dealing with container images in your Kubernetes cluster or anywhere else, then you might know that if you find a vulnerability in the image, then it could become quite hectic to patch the running containers. So we needed the ability to patch containers quickly without going upstream for a full rebuild because um, this window between vulnerability disclosure and active exploitation continues to narrow if you are looking at the latest security news because now there is a growing operational requirement to patch critical security vulnerabilities in container images so they can be quickly redeployed into the production. So if you are inheriting these vulnerabilities from base images several level deeps, uh, or if they have been found in third party, then this COPA tool could be um, proved quite handy. Now, uh, in addition to filling the operational gap not met by left shift security practices and tool, the ability of COPA to patch a container without requiring a rebuild contains a lot of benefit because it allows users other than the image publisher to patch container images, which is huge, I believe. And then it also reduces the storage and transmission cost of re redistributing patched images by only creating an additional layer. It also, of course, reduces the turnaround time for patching a container image by not having to wait for base image. And then it also reduces the complexity of patching the image from a running build, rebuild pipeline to run a single tool on the image. Now, let me show you a quick demo from this GitHub repo from their um, own website. So if you look at this demo, the first thing they are doing is they are pulling the Nginx image, which is which has some vulnerabilities it is downloading it now it is using trivi to scan the this image and saving the output to another json file Here you can see that this is the json file where they are st storing all the vulnerabilities now again we are using trivi to output the number of vulnerabilities in that image so these are all the vulnerabilities found in the above image, which is 1.2, 1.6 for Nginx. And now we are going to run the build kit in the container locally because we that is a requirement for running COPA. Now let's check that if build kit is running, that the container of build kit is running. Now we are going to use COPA to patch the engine x 1.2 1.6 and we'll create another image uh, with dash bash at the end this is a simple command where we're giving it image and then giving it a new image name it is to be building it the good thing is that it doesn't take too long which is great And as you can see, the process is quite seamless, quite transparent, so you know exactly what is happening within your image. And then it is done, now it is exporting the layers and sending the tarball, that's all done. Now we are checking our new image. There you go, you have the new image. And then let's scan again this new image with Trivi to see if there are still any vulnerabilities or everything is good. So you can see that there are no um, vulnerabilities anymore. And now let's run the batch image too, because that is the main goal. And it is running as you can see. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will drop the link to this project in video description. So feel free to try it out. Thank you very much.